What's going on YouTube? It's Total Blaze right here with another B-Log. I wanted to point out that if you're a fan of the Excellent Adventures, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you are if you pretty much watch my videos, um, I put up about a few weeks ago the match with Mike Ross, basically my Borog versus Mike Ross's Honda. Um, yeah, good news about that. It was a success. My match made it into the Excellent Adventures. It made it as a last match. And I believe it was episode 14, the most recent one, as of today, September 20th. Um, yeah, it was a success. It made it to Excellent Adventures, which um, a few of you have said. Um, I've been getting compliments to friends saying that yeah, it's in Excellent Adventures. You made it, man. You got it into big. I have a few messages saying that. But yet, looking at the episode, I just can't feel just... Oh, I don't even know how to put it. I just feel so bad. Like, I don't even know if anyone wants to consider if Mike and Gutex were, like, talking trash. Like, they were saying... Well, I don't really consider it talking trash. They were just, like, saying that I, I played Borog incorrectly. Um, the reason for that is because if you've seen my videos, you know that I play only online. And maybe a few sets if I go somewhere in real life. Uh, but it's mostly online. And you can pretty much assume since in the video of Excellent Adventures, I was ranked 42 as of that day, which was a few weeks ago. Um, as of now, September 20th, 2011, I am ranked 25 Ball Rock player of Xbox Live. I am, like, actually right under Ball Rock PR, which, if I know my references correct, it is Puerto Rican Ball Rock, Eduardo, if you know his real name, which is, I, I give so much respect to PR Rock, and he's actually one of the inspirations. Like, first, it was PR Rock, I will not lie. Um, when I first saw his um, Balrog in um, Street Fighter 4, I believe it was Street Fighter 4, or was it Super? Yeah, Street Fighter 4. I was amazed. Like, I really wanted to pick up Balrog, and I didn't even do it much since at, probably at 4 I was maining Sagat. But that was the old days. Those were the, those, those were the bad days. Next was Gutex. At the time in 4, he actually mained Balrog. I actually, if you see my videos, I actually use. Some of the combos Gutex used in Street Fighter 4. Like, I take them now, and as you can see, they work. They still work. Even though they're old, they still work. Um, yeah. I basically took only what Gutex, like, really come, um, comes out with in 2000. Ugh. In Street Fighter 4. There we go. I was about to say 2004. I basically took what he did and made it my own. I mean... He can still obviously do it now since it is Gutex, and he's, I think he's trying to pick up Borog again. I'm not sure, or is it, if it's paid long. Um, about that, all you have to say is that I give inspiration from Gutex with the combos, but the Borog player overall is PR Rock, but mainly Gutex because his combos that worked in Street Fighter Four worked for me in AE. So that's why I give inspired by um, Gutex. But, as of doing all that, it still wasn't a match for Mike Ross. I mean, yeah, there's people that say, oh, Total Blade, you did a good job facing Mike Ross. Or, oh man, do you know how much of an accomplishment it is to beat one round of Mike Ross? And he picked Honda? That's a really good job, man. Everybody almost wants that. I appreciate all that, but it's still just it's just words for me, like, yeah, I beat him Mike Ross one round, but who really cares? It's just one round. If it was a match, maybe it would be something, since I'm still technically a nobody. Nobody really knows me, only a few people know me, and the only reason it had, the only reason because of that is they think they can beat me, and most likely they can. But the important thing is that I'm really just taking consideration of what Gutex and Mike Ross have referenced me in that match, and I don't think they're positive. All I know is that 
I crack in the end. I meant to do EX Upper, which avoids mix up, actually get into the armor and put you in a safer position. But I did headbutt by mistake. I basically cracked. I don't even know if, if I did upper. I could have punished because he could have just low, I mean, just regular roundhouse me while then beat me. Ugh. All I know is that I cracked at the end and I really did suffer for that. To almost beat Mike Ross, yeah, it, it's an accomplishment. I cannot lie. And I thank people for acknowledging that. But I wouldn't consider it an achievement, like a real achievement um, on the journey to be a Street Fighter pro. <sighs> I'm just so down about it. I just can't take that into consideration that they actually would state that Total Blaze 05, at the time, the 42nd best Borog player on Xbox Live, plays Borog wrong. I just feel so down about it, like, at first, I wanted to quit, like, after hearing all that, I really just wanted to, like, hang up my, um, Street Fighter, put, put it back in its case, go play some other games, that's what I was gonna do, but, I'm not gonna do that, as you know, little about me, you know, I'm not a quitter, especially when it comes to video games that I like, I do not quit. As of right now, I can't say I wouldn't guarantee change, but I'm aiming for change right now. That's what I want about to change. Oh, my God, that's, that's horrible. That's horrible grammar. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. But I'm going to change. I don't know how I'm going to do it. All I know is that I want guidance. I need a coach that's willing to teach me what the pros know, and if they can, something the pros don't know. That if possible. Oh man, it hurts. Um, I need someone like that. Maybe if anyone can offer me that, but it has to be strict knowledge of Borog. Like, um, if they play a better Borog than me, I want to know how they play. I want to know what tricks does it take. Do I really have to lame it out? Is what I really want to know too. Like. I just can't stand laming out, laming out a win in a match. Like it is, it's not in my agenda. Like I can't really focus on um, staying back, even just play a little defensive and let time run out. I just, it's not in my playing playing path for Bull Rock. I just don't like wasting time a lot. I don't even know how much time I got left. Um, but anyway, I'm seeking a little coaching right now to make me improve my Balrog game. Only because I need to play a better Balrog. Even though a lot of people would say, oh, I did good against Mike Ross. You should keep it up. No guarantee that you're going to be a pro. Like, only a couple people said that. But to me, as what matters right now is what Gutex and Mike said. And what they say, yeah, it was my lucky day. I finally get to play Gutex's name, but Mike Ross was playing. Yeah, it was my lucky day. Big deal. Um, I got a message right now. That's probably my friend. I gotta head to school anyway. So, aiming for higher right now. I may have improved a little bit, but not enough. I need coaching right now. I need to aim to get better. That's what I want to do, and I know I can do it. This is Total Blaze right here saying I'm gonna improve. And Mike Ross, I got your number. I'm going to get you one of these times. You know it. I know it. Even if it's playing stupid, I will get you. Guaranteed. 